Hi everyone, Pilot Ems here. So today I wanted to do a quick video for you explaining airspeed versus ground speed. I'm going to use my lovely Dash 8 model to hopefully describe to you the difference between airspeed and ground speed. So if we have a think about airspeed first, let's say that the aircraft is flying along at 250 knots and there is no wind whatsoever. Um, then when we're talking about airspeed, we're talking about the speed of the aircraft relative to the air that is surrounding it. When there's no wind whatsoever, the aircraft is flying at 250 knots, that is the airspeed, 250 knots. If we now introduce a 100 knot headwind, so headwind on the aircraft, a wind of 100 knots coming towards the aircraft this way, as the aircraft is flying along at 250 knots, the airspeed of the aircraft, because it's relative to the air that is around it, it will still be 250 knots. So even if we've got a 100 knot headwind, the airspeed of the aircraft will still be 250 knots. And conversely, let's say if we have a look at a tailwind, let's say we have a tailwind of 100 knots. Again, we're talking about the movement of the aircraft relative to the air that is surrounding it. So as it is flying within this 100 knot tailwind coming this way, the aircraft is still moving, the airspeed will still be 250 knots. So relative to the air around it, the speed of the aircraft, the airspeed of the aircraft will not change. Now if we have a look at the ground speed. So again, let's first look at the example where there is no wind whatsoever. So if the aircraft is flying at 250 knots, airspeed 250 knots. There is no wind whatsoever. We will be moving relative to the ground. We will be moving over the ground at 250 knots. If we introduce this 100 knot headwind, coming towards the aircraft. So because we're talk now talking about the movement of the aircraft relative to the ground, the aircraft is flying at 250 knots, airspeed 250 knots. We have 100 knot headwind. The speed of the aircraft relative to the ground will now be 150 knots because it is relative to the ground. So we have to, we have to take into account the 100 knot headwind. And conversely, if we have a 100 knot tailwind, let's say we have a 100 knot tailwind, um, we're now talking about the movement of the aircraft relative to the ground. So 100 knot tailwind, airspeed is 250 knots. So the aircraft is flying at 250 knots. With that 100 knot tailwind, our movement over the ground will now be 350 knots. Because we're talking about, when we're talking about ground speed, it is the movement of the aircraft relative to the ground. So hopefully that has explained the difference between airspeed and ground speed. When we talk about airspeed, it's relative, or uh, the movement of the aircraft relative to the air that is surrounding it. So whether we have a headwind or a tailwind, it doesn't affect the airspeed of the aircraft. However, relative to the ground, when we're talking about ground speed, if we have a 100 knot headwind, obviously we have to, the movement of the aircraft over the ground will appear slower although the airspeed will still remain the same. So um, yeah, hopefully that video has been useful for you today. If you've got any questions or any comments, feel free to drop them below and I will absolutely talk to you very soon. Take care.